We continue now at the top of Daf Kofala from Ibaiz and Mesachas Yivamas. This is Yivamas Daf 101b. The Gemara here continues Shanamar, like the Pasuk says in Shira Shirim, Kulach Yofer Rayasi Umum Ein Bach. It says, You're entirely beautiful, my beloved. And there's, lo- there's no blemish in you. So Rabbi Yehuda understands from there that when it comes to judges in the Sanhedrin, they're not allowed to have a blemish, they're not allowed to be blind. And so from the fact that the Pasuk says, Le'enei teaches us that the judges by Chalitza are not allowed to be blind, it must be we're not talking about real judges, it must be from the word Le'enei, we see that we're talking about Hediotos. And the Gemara continues with Idach. so what about the Chachamim? What do they do with the word le'ine? So ahu le'ine my le. What do they do with the word le'ine? Ahu lechidu rava. They're going to use that pasuk for what rava says. Lechidu rava who dasa comes for what rava says. Do my rava because rava says tzrichi dayoni lemechze roka de kanafik mi puma de yavama. The judges need to actually see the spit come out of the mouth of the yavama. Tchsev like the pasuk says le'ine has the kenim viyarka. It says to the eyes of the elders they see that she spits. So again you see from the word le'ine they actually have to see the. Uh, uh, the spitting of the Yavama. And the Gemara continues, V'idach nami. So the other one also, Mi le lechidrava. He also needs it. Rabbi Yudah also is going to need the Pasuk of Le'ene for what Rava says. And so the Gemara says, Enoch inami, you're correct. V'yelo had yotos menale. So therefore the Gemara says, okay. So where does Rabbi Yudah learn out the idea of layman from? So the Gemara says, Nafka mi bi Yisrael. He learns it out from the word bi Yisrael. It means to say, Yisrael called to it means any Yisrael. It does not have to be an actual judge. And Rashi over here says, bi Yisrael. The Pasuk we're referring to is, Lohakim lo'achim. Shame be Yisrael. It uses this word be Yisrael when it talks about the process of Yibam to establish the name for his brother in Israel. So again, from this pasuk be Yisrael, we're learning out Yisrael called to. It can even be a layman in terms of the judges by Chalitza. And the Gemara continues Ve'idach. So the other Tana, meaning the Tana Kama, Hi be Yisrael, my Avidle. What do they do with the word be Yisrael? And so the Gemara answers me by Lechiratoni, Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda. They learn it for that which Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda teaches be Yisrael. It says in the pasuk be Yisrael. What does that teach us? Bebezdin shall Yisrael. It means to say it has to be a bezin of Yisraelim, below be bezin shall gerim. When it comes to chalitza, you can't use a bezin that is that is comprised of gerim, that is comprised of converts. And the Gemara continues, v'idach, so the other one, meaning Rabbi Yehuda, where is he going to learn this halacha, that it can't be a bezin shall gerim. So be Yisrael achrinaksev, there's actually another Pasuk where it uses, uses the word be Yisrael. It says in the Pasuk, v'nikra shemo be Yisrael beis chalutz hanoal. And so therefore, from that Pasuk of be Yisrael, that's how we learn out it has to be a bezin shall Yisrael and not a bezin of gerim. Idach, and so the Gemara says the other Tana, meaning the Tana Kama, mi boy le lechiratanya. So they're going to use that pasuk of Biyisrael, that second Biyisrael, for the following Brisa. The Brisa says, Amr Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Pamachas hayinu Yoshvin lefnei Rabbi Tarfin. There was one time we were sitting in front of Rabbi Tarfin. Uba Yevama lachlots and a Yevama came to do the chalitza of Yomar Lonu, and so he said to us, meaning Rabbi Tarfin, he said to us, Anu kulchem chalutz anal. You all have to answer the words chalutz anal. And the idea over here is that the Tana Kama learns from this very Pasuk Bi Yisrael where it says V'nikra Shemo Bi Yisrael Beis Chalutz Anal so the Tanakh Kama learned that the Bezin has to actually declare that this person is the Chalutz Anal this person who chose to do Chalitza is the one who had his shoe removed and the Gemara continues V'idach and the other Tana meaning Rabbi Yehuda where does he learn this idea that they have to respond and say Chalutz Anal and so the Gemara says Mi V'nikra Nafka so Rabbi Yehuda he learns it out from the word V'nikra not from the word Bi Yisrael the fact that it says V'nikra that this person is called Beis Chalutz Anal that shows that the Bezin has to actually say, they have to declare that this person is the Chalutz Noal. And the Gemara now returns to the issue of how many judges there have to be for a Chalitza. El according to this logic, V'karu Shnayim, V'dibru Shnayim. It says in the Pasuk, the Pasuk says, V'karu lo ziknei iro, V'dibru elo, V'yomar, V'yomar lo chafatzi lakachta. So the word V'karu should indicate two, two more people. V'dibru should indicate two more people. So if you're going to add four people, So according to that, according to Rabbi Yehuda, there now should be instead of five judges, there should have to be nine. And the Rabbanan, Harei Kan Shiv, according to the Rabbanan, instead of three judges, Judges, there should have to be seven judges by a chalitza. And so the Gemara answers, no, these psukim are used for something else. These psukim, Vikaru and Vidibru, they're used for the following b'risa. The b'risa says, Vikaru lo, it says they have to call to him, Velo shluchim. they can't send messengers, they can't send agents. Vidibru love, and they have to speak to him, Melamed, Shemasiin lo, Eitzahahogenes lo, it teaches us that they give him advice that is good for him in terms of whether he should do Yibum or whether he should choose chalitza. Shemhoyahu yeled vizakena, for example, let's say he's young and she's old, or who's zakein 
older, let's say he's old and she's young, Omrim Lo, so then they should say to him, Malach Eitzel Yalda, what are you doing marrying a young girl? Malach Eitzel Zakena, what are you doing marrying an older woman? Klach Eitzel Shekamoschi, you should go marry somebody who's your age. Vialtachnes Ketata Lesoch Beisach, and don't enter into a situation of arguments within your house. In other words, in certain situations, the Bezin should actually advise the individual not to do Yibum, but to do Chalitza instead. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav, Amar Rav Nachman, Rav says in the name of Rav Nachman, Halacha Chalitza Bishlosha. The Halacha is, the Chalitza is with three people. Again, we had a Machlokas over here, the, the Tanakama said three, and Rabbi Yehuda said five, and the Halacha is like the Tanakama, it's three, why? Ho'el v'sasam lantana kavasi, because in our Mishnah, our Sta Mishnah is like the Tanakama, it says it's with three people. And so the Gemara says, Amr le Rav Rav Nachman. So Rav said back to Rav Nachman, Ihachi if so. Miyun nami, by Miyun also, again, Miyun is when you have a situation of a katana that's married and then she refuses the marriage. Ditnan, because over there also we have a Stam Mishnah that says, Ha Miyun It says that Miyun and Chalitza are with three. And therefore we should assume that Miyun, since it's a Stam Mishnah, it's also the Halacha should be that it's three people. Vechit even if you're going to say Hachi nami, that that is indeed the case, but that's not true. Vatani, but we learned in a bride, so Miyun, when it comes Comes to Mion, Beis Shammai Omrim Bezdin Mumchin. Beis Shammai say you need a Bezdin of experts. U Beis Hillel Omrim and Beis Hillel say the Bezdin v'Shelo the Bezdin. It could be a Bezdin of experts. It could be not a Bezdin of experts. But hey, Luve Lumodim. But both Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel agree that Sarech Shlosha that there's a requirement of three people when it comes to Mion. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehud, the Rabbi Lozer, Rabbi Yosi, Machshir and Bishnayim. But Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yehud, and Rabbi Lozer, Rabbi Yosi, they say that it's kosher with two. V'yamar Rabbi Yosi bar Menyumi, Yamar Rabbi Nachman, and Rabbi Yosi bar Menyumi says in the name of Rabbi Nachman. And again, this is Rava talking to Rabbi Nachman. So now we're quoting Rabbi Nachman. Halacha ka'osu azug that the halacha is like that pair, meaning the halacha is like the opinion that when it comes to me and you only need two people and not three people. So Rav is asking Rabbi Nachman if you're saying that we paskin by chalitza three people because of a stam. Mishnah, me and also there's a Stam Mishnah. And so the Gemara answers, Hasim over there, Chad Stamah. There's only one Stam Mishnah that says that Mian is Bishlosha, Vahacha, Trey Stamah. But over here we actually have two Stam Mishnahis. Like we just said, the Stam Mishnah of Mian also says Chalitz is Bishlosha. So if you have two of them already, then the Halach is like that. But the Gemara says, one second, Hasim Nami over there also by Mian, Trey Stamah. You know, I can find you two Stam Mishnahs. The Tanan, because there's another Mishnah that says, Miana O Shechalza Bifanov. Let's say she does the Mian, or if she does the Chalitz in front of him, Yiso Eno, then she's allowed to marry him because he is part of a Bezdin. The point over here is, is that it uses the term Bezdin and Bezdin means three people. So you see from this Mishnah also, there's an additional Mishnah that mentions Mian is with a Bezdin. So that shows an additional Mishnah that says that Mian is three people. But the Gemara says, fine, 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 still. When it comes to Mian, now you only have two Stam Mishnahs. When it comes to Chalitza, you now have three Stam Mishnahs because again, this Mishnah of Mian O Shecholza mentions Chalitza as well. And so therefore, since it's more Stam Mishnayis, we paskin by Chalitza that it's three people, but it's only two Stam Mishnayis when it comes to Mian, so we don't paskin three people over there. But the Gemara doesn't like this answer. Michdi, let us see. Hastam of Hastam. In both cases, you have Stam Mishnayis. Mali Chadsta, Mali Treysta, Mali Tzla. So what's the difference if it's one, two, or three? Who cares how many Stam Mishnayis there are? That shouldn't really make a difference. And so the Gemara answers, Alam Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, rather Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak says, Ho'el Ustam B'mokam Achlokas. The real reason when it comes to Chalitza that we say the Stam Mishnah shows what the Halacha is, is because there you have a situation of a Stam in the place of another Machlokas. The Tanan, as the Mishnah says, Smichas Zikainim Ve'egla Arufa Bishlosha. Divrei Rabbi Yossi, it says when it comes to Semicha of the elders, and when it comes to Egla Arufa, you need three people, according to Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yehuda, Omer Rabbi Yehuda says, Bechamishi, you need five people. Ha-chalitza, v'hamiyun in Bishlosha, when it comes to Chalitza and Miyun, so there you need three people. So there you have Rabbi Yehuda in this very Mishnah, and he doesn't argue when it comes to Chalitza and Miyun over here. Velo kapolig Rabbi Yehuda, and Rabbi Yehuda is not arguing. So Shema Mino, Hadrbe Rabbi Yehuda, Shema Mino, you see the Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda was the one who was arguing by Chalitza, he was not the one that was arguing by Mion. Again, by Mion, there was a pair of Tanoim that were arguing, and that was Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yehuda, and Rabbi Lozer, Rabbi Yossi, they were Machshir and Bishnaim. Rabbi Yehuda, though, was the one who argued when it came to Chalitza, and over here, even though he's in this Mishnah, he doesn't argue by Chalitza, so that's why the Gemara is saying, Velo Kapolik, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda didn't argue, Shmami no Hadrbe, Rabbi Yehuda, Shmami no, you see that Rabbi Yehuda retracted from his opinion, and that's the real reason why we see we do not Paschal like Rabbi Yehuda, and, we, and instead we say that Chalitza is with three people.
And Rashi over here explains the Tanan, the Mishnah says, this is in Paraketza, Misha Osir Esa Isha Beneder. It's talking over there about a person, an individual who prohibited a woman with a neder, Hareza Lo Yisa'ena. So that person who prohibited her, he's not allowed to go ahead and then marry her. It looks like he has an interest, perhaps. If he would marry her, it looks like there was an interest, a self interest in his ruling. And so then the Mishnah says, Mia no Shechalza Befanav. Now, if she did Mia or Chalitza in front of him, there it's not a problem. Yisa'ena, there he's allowed to marry her. We don't say that it looks like like he's doing it for his self-interest. Again, we don't say that that's a problem, that it looks like he was acting in his self-interest. Why? It says, because he's a bezin, means to say he wasn't the only one that she did the mion or the chalitz in front of. The name of Bishvilo, Niskavin, that we're going to say that it was all because of him, she wanted to marry him. Because there was a bezin there, he was part of a bezin. And again, the proof of the Gemara was, bezin the fact that he uses the term bezin, we know that a bezin is not less than three people. And then the Gemara said, The reason why Chalitza, we take the Stam Mishnah and say that is the Halach is because that Stam Mishnah, there's a Stam Mishnah that was written where Rabbi Yehuda argues. The point of the Gemara is that in that very Mishnah, Rabbi Yehuda argues about something else. And in this particular issue, by Chalitza, he doesn't argue. So you see that he retracted. But when it comes to Mion, even though Mion is also mentioned in, this, in the same Mishnah, that's not called B'mokom Machlokasi because the people who were arguing by Mion are not mentioned in this Mishnah. So we don't see in this Mishnah that Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi, and Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi are brought on another issue by another argument, the name of Midolo Iflik Bahash, Mamina Hajribu, because then we would say the fact that they didn't argue here shows they retracted. You can't say that in terms of Mion, but you can say that in terms of Chalitza because Rabbi Yehuda is in this Mishnah. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Amar Rava Rava says, Tzrichi Dayon the judges, when they're setting up the chalitza, they need to establish the place where the chalitza will be done ahead of time. Like the Pasuk says, we also to Ashar al It says the Yavam is going to go to the gate by the elders as if there's an established location. Rav Papa Rav Huna Braid Rav Yoshua Avdi Uvda Bechamisha. Gemara says that Rav Papa and Rav Huna Braid Rav Yoshua, they did a chalitza with five people, with five judges. The Gemara says, Keman Kareb Yehuda, who are they following? They're following Rav Yehuda. But we just said before, the Rav Yehuda retracted. And so the Gemara answered, Answers le farsume milsa. No, they really didn't require five people. Really, the requirement is three, but in order to publicize the matter, they preferred to do it with five. Ravashi Ikla Leve Rev Kahana, Ravashi went to the house of Rev Kahana, Amarle said to him, Salik Mar Le Gabon, Le Maluye Bechamisha, come up with us in order to, to, to have five people. We want to have five people for the Chalitza. Amar Rev Kahana, Rev Kahana said, Havokoimno Kame de Rev Yehuda, I was once standing in front of Rev Yehuda, Amar Li, and he said to me, Tosak Le Zirzo de Kani, come up to the bundle of reeds that was a certain location where they were doing Chalitza, let Starufe Bechamisha also to join together so we have five people to do the chalitza. So Amru lo, so they said to him, Lama li chamisha, what do we need five for? Amar Louis said to them, the same answer, Kihechi de la farsa mil, so we want to publicize the matter. Again, it's not an absolute requirement. And the Gemara continues, Rav Shmuel bar Yehuda, have a koi kamei de Rav Yehuda. Rav Shmuel bar Yehuda was in front of Rav Yehuda. Amar Lei said to him, Sak ta lazir za dekani litztarufe bechamisha. He said again, come up to the bundle of reeds in order to join us to make five people lefarsume milsa in order to publicize the matter when we do a chalitza. So Amar Lei, so he said back to him, meaning to say Rav Shmuel bar Yehuda, said back to Rav Yehuda, Tanina, we learned in our Mishnah, be Yisrael, be Bezin shal Yisrael, that it says Yisrael, it has to be in a court of Jews. Velo be Bezin shal Geirim, and that comes to exclude. It's not allowed to be a court of converts. And I happen to be a convert, therefore I can't really serve on this Bezdin. So Amar Rav Yehuda, so Rav Yehuda said, Kegon Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda, someone like this, like Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda, who's so honest, who just revealed that he can't be part of the court, Ma'pikna Memona Apume, were even allowed to exact money based on his word. If he alone would say that somebody owes money, that would be enough to take money from that person. The Gemara says, Ma'pikna Salkadaytach, would we actually take money from somebody on the basis of one aid, even if it's an aid that's completely trustworthy? But doesn't the Torah say that you need to aid them? So of course, no matter who the person is, is, one aid is not going to be enough. And so the Gemara changes it, Elamarana, Shtar Apumi. What he meant to say was that I would take a Shtar and I would say that a Shtar is invalid based on his testimony. He is so trustworthy, we can trust him to say that a certain Shtar is not valid to collect with. 
And the Gemara continues, Amar Rava Rava says, and we'll take a look at a few Rashi's over here, Lefarsume Milsa de Chalutzahi. We want to publicize she's a Chalutza. Why? Velo Linsa Velikoin. That way she won't marry Kohen. Inami de Lesu Inshi Velikfutsu Allah. Another reason is we want people to know that Chalitza was done so that people will come and they'll marry her. And then the Gemara said, Vano Gera no again. He said that I'm a Ger. Huva Aviv Niskairo. He and his father, they both converted. Hilkach Pasil no Lechalitza. Therefore he was saying that I'm Pasil in terms of Chalitza. Marana Shtar Apume. He said he's tr- so trustworthy, we would invalidate a star. Diomer Yodada Beit de Priya. For example, if he would say, I know the star was already paid off, Lomiz Da Kikna Lemigbabe, we wouldn't collect with that star. And we'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Kof Bey's Amud Aleph.